retakes. There's no calling for action. There's absolutely no evidence to suggest that somebody is directing them. We have the possibility that this whole thing is real. And we have the possibility that this whole thing is a uh, largely plausible hoax. If you're working with all these elements, you can, journalistically speaking, you can construct your own story out of whatever footage you choose to, to, to put in there. Welcome back to the eighth annual Halloween special. This year has been extremely fun for me. I got a few more reviews still coming to you, but I wanted to talk about a film that I saw recently that had a major impact on me and I could find very little information about the movie. I've since reached out to the filmmaker and had some discussions about the film and I wanted to include it in my Overlooked Movies segment. I last talked about the film Speak, the Kristen Stewart film from 2004. I was able to interview the writer-director, Jessica Scharzer. And for this year's Halloween special, I wanted to find a film that was similarly overlooked. This movie, just like Speak, does not have a tomato meter. There's not enough reviews for one, and even after this review, there still won't be. Butterfly Kisses is a mockumentary that utilizes found footage combined with the documentary approach to tell the story of a filmmaker who finds a box filled with tapes, and when he watches them, he sees two kids who are recording their efforts to contact a local ghostly urban legend. In those tapes, the kids discuss this myth, and they say that if you go to this tunnel and you stare down it without blinking for the right amount of time, this ghostly figure will appear to you. And as you blink, it gets closer to you every single time you blink before eventually killing you. Now they try to stare down this tunnel. They even ask other people who win staring contests to try to keep their eyes open, but they just can't do it. So they decide to do a test. They set up a camera to film down this tunnel using its lens in place of a human eye. And sure enough, after enough time has passed, that ghostly figure appears in the footage. What they don't realize is that this thing is now haunting this camera. Every time they turn it on and turn it off again, just as if they were blinking with their own eyes, it gets closer and closer in every shot they film before it takes over their lives. Now, where this movie gets really interesting is the filmmaker who finds these tapes is a failed filmmaker. He's getting very desperate and he falls into a pit of obsession by trying to prove that this is real. And everyone around him is like, this is bullshit, man. This is easily faked. He goes on radio shows. People mock him. People make fun of him. His life is slowly falling apart, and he begins to feel like all he has left is proving that the events captured on this tape are real. That's where this movie shines, and that's all I'm going to talk about, because obviously I'm assuming the majority of you have not seen this movie. If you have, I'm glad you have. By no means is Butterfly Kisses going to win any major awards, but as a found footage movie that combines mockumentary elements, I think it's really strong. I don't like it as much as Lake Mungo, but I think it's really damn good. It's about in the same category for me as another overlooked found footage film called Savage Land. That one's pretty good, and both of these are currently on Amazon Prime. The mythology the movie creates around this figure that they're capturing in their camera is really interesting, and it's very creepy, but that's not really what scares me about this movie. The aspects of the film that really work for me is showing that obsession, showing a filmmaker who can convince himself that even though there's ample evidence to suggest that the footage he has could be faked, possibly is faked, he can't accept that. He can't bring himself to accept the possibility that this last ditch effort he has to break into the industry maybe isn't real. Even when members of his family, people he interviews and coworkers tell him this footage could be fraudulent, he can't accept that. And so as a viewer, I had doubt throughout the entire film instilled in me on whether or not the footage was real or fake. Now I know that the movie itself is fake, but from the story perspective, I didn't know if maybe these characters did fake that footage. And so when this filmmaker is being mocked by everyone in the industry, including one of the directors of the Blair Witch Project in a cameo, which I thought was pretty cool, you kind of feel for the guy, but you don't. Because in a way, this character is also a, kind of a jerk. When he interviews people for his film, he's trying to force them to side with him. And some of these interview subjects don't. Some of them don't agree with his viewpoints on this footage, and yet the filmmaker is trying to push them to believe this. And this creates a lot of tension amongst the crew that he's hired to make the film. And so his crew starts to distance themselves from him as well. 
And that's where this movie really shines. It's not just about this ghostly figure that may or may not be haunting them. It's really about the relationships that are eroding because of this man's possibly fraudulent beliefs, but he could also be onto something. The fact that the film takes a really long time to side with either one of them is one of the reasons the movie is so interesting, and it's a fascinating look into how a filmmaker can become so obsessed with something that it destroys his life. That's all I'm going to say about Butterfly Kisses. I think that it's a really good mockumentary found footage movie, and I do recommend checking it out. Just like with Speak, I'm not going to grade this movie. I'm not going to grade movies in the Overlooked segment going forth. I obviously am recommending it. Like I said, it is on Amazon Prime. I hope you guys do check it out. I think it's worth a watch, and I would like to see more people talk about the movie. And I was able to set up an interview with the director, Eric Christopher Myers. He is not available until next month, November. And so in November, you guys are going to get sort of a little bonus Halloween special episode. And we're going to talk about how he made the film, the challenges that happened along the way, anything he wants to talk about. I'm really excited to share that with you guys in November. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews and the Halloween special. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.